hi guys welcome everyone to my tutorial on how to use the trading platform metatrader 5 the purpose of this video is to familiarize yourselves with the trading platform to learn how to download it install it and navigate it so the first thing that we're gonna do is to go to the website download the trading platform called metatrader 5 we will download the file and quickly go ahead and install it so what you can do is you can either you can either copy the link that i put in the description below and paste it on your browser or you can just type metatrader5.com on your web browser so on the metatrader5.com homepage you can go ahead and click on the windows icon that is if you are probably using the windows operating system otherwise you can just choose the correct one for your computer i'm using windows so i'll go ahead and click on the windows and it will start the download process for the executable file and from there you can go ahead and click on the executable file and it will start the bigger download process because just clicking on windows is not the entire file and as part of that the process will also take you through the installation of the platform and eventually through the account opening process for a demo account that's this is the account you'll be using for your practice so this is the default trading platform setting as it comes you can see there are no charts on it yet this gray space basically is the chart space so we're gonna go ahead and learn how to add new charts to it and we have different modules we're gonna go through them one by one the first one we have is the market watch module here or sub window you can think of it as your typical watch list at the bottom we have multiple tabs the ones we're going to be using the most is actually the symbols tab that's where we have all the symbols what you can do in the simplest way or simplest manner is to simply right click anywhere on the watch list or this market watch and go ahead and click show all it's already been clicked on my site that's why it's grayed out when you do it it will display all the instruments that are available to be traded by your broker now this account is not connected to any particular broker because it's simply a demo account that is provided by MetaQuotes and MetaQuotes is the mother company of this platform. So for us we're just going to focus on the currency pairs. We're not going to focus on any other products such as commodities and substocks or indices. We're just going to focus on the currency pairs. Additionally, what you can do is just go ahead and modify this watch list by right clicking, going to sets and there are some previous sets here previously mentioned. So forex all is supposedly just all the currency pairs now there may be some currency pairs that we can go ahead and add here again you can go ahead and get to customize your watch list whichever way you want it to be and the way you can do that is by let's go ahead and click on the plus sign of click to add and you can go ahead and add whichever currency pairs that you want i'm going to go ahead and just put a blank watch list let's say hide all and then i'm going to create a few um going to add a few currency pairs and once you start typing it will give you the available currency pairs so let's say i start typing euros it will give me the whole list of the euro pairs so aussie euro aussie let's say pound dollar new zealand yen eurocad and so on and so on you can do different types of watch lists the major watches the cross watches it's completely up to you and completely customizable one thing that you might as well consider is by right clicking anywhere on the watch list as well and going to columns you can go ahead and customize these columns here the ones that say bid ask high low the one that i personally like to keep is not necessarily the high and low but instead bid ask as well as spreads this way we can have an idea of what kind of spread is being offered for this product by our broker the second module or second area is basically called toolbox so by going to 
view and clicking on toolbox or the shortcut control T. This will open the bottom window that has multiple tabs and in here the ones that we're going to be using the most are the trade tab which contains our opening pending orders as well as open positions. The history tab, the one that shows us any trade history that took place and we do have a bit of economics calendar tab. We might be using that one as well. And the other tab, you can go ahead and explore on your own. But these are the ones that we're going to focus on the most. So um, let's go up. We have the toolbox at the top. Sometimes the time frame toolbars and line toolbars or the drawing toolbars may not be there. And what you would have to do is click on view toolbars and you want to make sure that all the three are checked standard line studies and time frames in case one of them is not checked make sure it gets checked what that does is that it will bring in the time frames toolbars as well oh no um but rather the drawing toolbar as well now the reason that we all this is grayed out is because we don't have any charts to use these toolbars on one way to go ahead and place a chart is to simply click anywhere on the watch list or market watch and drag it into the space and this will bring in a chart now let's go ahead and modify the colors a little bit especially because this may not be your favorite settings if it is then it's perfectly okay but if you wish to modify it is rather simple simple you right click in the middle and you can go to properties shortcut is f8 by going to properties you have all these different colors different tabs i mean common show colors the one i want to use is colors we're going to start by the with the default like a template if you will so color on white this will give you a preview of what the chart will look like if you hit okay so the background we'll put is white the foreground black the grid we don't want any grids again that can be up to you how you want to lay this this one out the bar up i'm going to go ahead and choose green or something close to it the bar down uh red the bull candle you might want to keep it same green as the bar up and the bear candle same red as the bar down uh, line charts and um, volumes, bid price, ask price, last price, top price levels. Since we are not going to be displaying this, it's perfectly okay to leave whichever colors they have. And in the show tab, you're going to go ahead and remove show, show grids. And I'm going to remove the show bid line again. These are just preferences. These are not necessarily something that you have to do. It's completely up to you. And this is how the chart is going to look like. If you're okay and happy with the outcome, you can go ahead and click OK. And one thing we do notice here is that the chart is a little bit stacked too close. Um, the last candle is stacked too close to the vertical price line. So one way we can do one thing we can do is that we can use the button right here that says shift end of the chart from right border. And if you click on that, it will give us a bit of space, number of space here. And um, just a bit of how to use the chart and some of the functionalities of the chart. Zooming in and out is rather easy. You can either use these two buttons here, the plus sign and the minus sign on your keyboard, or just by clicking plus and minus sign, I'll be zooming in and out. Um, one thing I would recommend you guys keep an eye on this icon that says scroll the chart to the end on incoming. So what this does if enabled is that it keeps showing us the last candle. So in case we are scrolling backwards, every time a new tick comes in as the market is trading, this thing will snap forward. Now, this is sometimes a bit of an inconvenience because you might be snapping backwards you might be scrolling backwards looking for a different zone or different setups and this thing switches back forward because a new take came in a new trade came in so the best thing to do is to keep it unchecked this way you can function with more liberty if you will um, if you wish to add another chart let's say you want to have two time frames or two charts displayed at the same time 
then if you simply go ahead and click and drag the same currency pair and drop it here it will not change anything if you happen to click and drag another currency pair it will switch to that other currency pair so what you would need to do is right click and go to chart window what that does is it will open a new chart window as you can see at the bottom um, we now have two tabs that we can switch in between if i want to see them both displayed at the same time i'll go to the arranged windows that's the button i would use and it will arrange the windows regardless of the numbers of windows that i have so one thing you do see here is that the new chart window has a default setting that's different from our desired settings if you want to or prefer not to have to redo everything every single time you have a window there is a better way that's a faster way simply right click and go to templates in here since i'm okay with these setups as it is i go to templates and i click save then give it um click save go to templates click save and give it whatever name you fancy um then i go to the uh I'll go to the second chart template that's already there. I click on it and now the new template is applied. Notice these two charts don't have the same currency pairs. If I wish to change one of them, let's say I have the pound dollar chart and I want to change it to Euro Aussie chart, then all I have to do is drag Aussie currency into the pound dollar chart and I'll change it. And if I wish to maximize the chart, simply click on the maximize button and you'll take care of that. Changing time frames is fairly easy. Now you have the time frame toolbar here that you can customize. If you simply right click on the toolbar itself and go to customize, what that will do for you is that it will offer you, it will show you all the available time frames as well as the already selected time frames. So let's say it's important for you to have the two hour time frame or it's something that is important for you. You can go ahead and insert it. Now you can have the two hour time frame available. However, its location is not really properly arranged. You want them to be in proper ascending and descending order. So you can go ahead and move that. Let's say for example, something like the 10 minutes time frame is important for you, you can insert that you can also adjust its location to where it should be and now you have an extra two hour time frame and um, a 10 minute time frame the same applies to the toolbar for drawings some drawings you may never use some drawings you may need to use but they're not there so you simply right click and customize again and on the left you have already the available drawings and on the right side you have all the drawings that are already selected that are already available so perhaps you might go ahead and say this tool here equidistance channel i may never use so remove uh, the fibonacci retracement you might go ahead and say i never use it or i use it it's up to you you might go ahead and say i use this ellipse for instance so i want to go ahead and insert it and you can customize it whichever way you want changing time frames is as simple as clicking on the desired time frame it's as simple as that fairly straightforward now the toolbox at the bottom like i said earlier this is where the placed orders and open positions are this is where they appear in terms of the details the closed positions will appear in the history tab and will disappear from the trade tab so this is about open positions and pending orders additionally you can go ahead and place alerts using this tab in the toolbox module it's as simple as right clicking anywhere here create alert and it will go ahead and choose you can go ahead and choose whichever currency pair you want um the default will be in the chart currency pair and you can set the alert whichever way you want at wherever desired price you want to have it one other thing is also how we can go ahead and add studies or add indicators to the chart it's as simple as going to insert indicators and from here you have the complete list of available indicators um, within the MetaTrader 5 
platform. So let's say you go ahead and add the ATR, that's the average true range. It will give you the settings. Let's see, um, black color, you can change the line parameters, 14 period. And these are the levels actually. This one is for the actual ATR and you can click OK. Now we have our ATR here. You can add moving average or Bollinger Band, whichever indicator you choose. And if you wish to customize it or edit it, you simply have to place your mouse on the indicator. And this applies to indicators that are on the chart or below the chart. Right click properties and this will bring back the properties window. You can edit if you wish to or click right or right click and delete indicator. This will remove it in case you want to do that. So this has been an overall view or tour of the platform MetaTrader 5. Now let's go ahead and on your own computer now do the same thing in case you haven't been kind of going parallel with me. Just go to the website, download and install the file, run the platform, automatically an account will be created. Take a tour, familiarize yourself with the buttons, where everything goes, and this way you will be ready to use the platform. Next, I will be posting a video on how to place orders or order execution using MetaTrader 5. If you watched the video this far, hope it was helpful to you in some way. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe as this will motivate me to continue to make these educational videos for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.